Hey everybody, hope y'all are all doing well. Add a couple quick things to just share with you guys. I have a little small haul and some um, neat things that I picked up that I wanted to share. First thing that I wanted to show is, you guys remember seeing me these in my haul? I got these at the dollar store. They are for, you know, parties and get togethers. They are the garlands. So the other day I was on the phone with a client, well, another agent in the office helping them. And I, as I was on the phone with her, I took the time to um, take these apart. And I've already thrown the strings away. But these are a great value. For a dollar, you get, I think I counted them. I don't know that I wrote them down. I have to count them again. It was quite a bit. I don't know, 30 something, almost 40 pieces. So this one comes with the cute little flamingo and the pineapple. Super cute. And here how they here's how they come out. Now one side has tape. Um, so you definitely have a better side than the other, but I was trying to be as careful as I could. I'm trying to hold these up, get them all picked up. Um, not to rip them, but these are so cute. Look at them. Aren't these cute little flamingos? So I probably should count them again. Um, I can't remember. It was 30 something. So for a dollar, I've got all these die cuts. So these are the flamingos. Get the pineapples. And I love the colors of these. Isn't that cute? It's kind of like a blue green. And I love the yellow, the mustardy yellow of the pineapple. So let me see. I think you get 12 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. I think it's 12. And you must get 24 of these. So I think it's like 36 of them. Super cute. These are going to make great additions for cards. I can just pop it on a card and, um, you know, put a little cute little sentiment over it. Or I can use it in mini albums, and they are double-sided. Double so this one has a little bit of sticky residue um, that is on it. But some of the others came off a lot cleaner than the others. But aren't these super cute? And for a dollar, you've got enough to make 36 cards. Or you could turn this into a journaling spot and tuck it in in a mini album. I mean, there's just a lot of different things you could do with these. So I just thought I would share with that. So this is this one. And then this one... It comes like this so you get the flamingo the yellow hibiscus flower and then the pink i guess it's a parrot a cockatiel i'm not sure what kind of bird that is it's cute no matter what so this flamingo is a little bit different sorry for the crinkling so this one comes like this i'm pretty sure it's 36 of these that you get Again, these are double-sided, super cute. So this is a little bit different than the other one. Pull it up so you can see the difference. See the difference? Aren't they cute? Love it. So you get these, I think you get 12 of these, and then 12 of these. Again, you can see this side, this one ripped a little bit. But I could still put a sentiment if I wanted to use that side or I can just use this side. But not all of them did that. Just a few of them did that. And then, of course, the hibiscus flower is not as, you know, cool as these, but still cute and on the same. I can make a cute card with this or, you know, use it as a tuck-in. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And if I make some cards, I'll come back and show you what I create. I'm just trying to think of fun, easy, quick ways. Put that aside to make some cards to send to, you know, family and friends and clients. So I have a hodgepodge of things. These I picked up at um, Target. These are really, really cute. They were a little on the pricier side. I think they were $2.99, I think, or maybe $3.29, right around there. But they are cute little puffy stickers. Look how cute, there's two of them in there. Hopefully they're coming through clear. So I just like them. They're really teeny tiny, you get some uh, a hamburger, you have popcorn, a beach ball, a cheeseburger, heart, cotton candy, peace sign, watermelon, uh, sunshine, you get a little tropical tree, 
Uh, pineapple, french fries, cookie, pizza. I just so cute. Aren't those cute? So I spotted these in the um, card aisle and I thought, oh, those would be so cute. So I'll add those to my sticker collection. I just thought they'd be cute for making some like homemade embellishments. I think I showed these. I couldn't remember. I picked these up at the dollar store, these little rainbow things. I picked up another pack of those. And that's when I went back in the dollar store and found the confetti that everybody's been showing. This is super cute. So you get three different types. I don't think I've shown this one. But I picked up some more of that. And then there's this one. And for a dollar, super cute to use on your shakers or homemade embellishments. That's a lot of fun. Now, the next couple of things that I got are from Dollar General. If you have a Dollar General by you, check it out because they have some really cute things in their party section. Look at these cute little bags. They are little zip, you get 16 in here, little Ziploc treat bags, but aren't they cute? They have little rainbows on them and they're little Ziploc. So these will be fun to send to friends or, you know, make something fun. Sent for once we get back to crafting together and crops and stuff, these will make great treat bags for a table mate so you can stuff some little goodies in there or send some you know happy mail to somebody and stick something in there i just thought they were really really cute then in their party section they they had gotten some more of their napkins i had done a video a while back of some um napkins on cards and i picked up a few more check this one out isn't that cute so you have like an ombre rainbow and it's gold foiling so there's 16 in here very cute I'll have to see because you see the back side is like that so it's not every every one let me see I'm gonna cut it open this doesn't have a sticky and see if it's um how many you can get I think these these are like a dollar fifty for these I just thought they would make quick cards. I've made several with the other napkins that I have and used those. And the foiling's a lot of fun. And I thought I, when I saw these, I went ahead and picked this up and a couple others. But I want to pull one out to just kind of see um, how many. I think it's just the top one is probably foiled. Yeah. So you're only going to get one card out of each napkin. So you get that. And then the other one is just what it shows in the back. That's the difference between this type of napkin and when you get a high-end store, you only, you're only gonna get one card. You could do something with this back piece, but you're basically gonna get 16 cards out of that. Not super bad, I just think they're really cute. So you can make some bunch of different projects with that. So I got this one that said happy birthday with some, with some confetti. I get it mostly for the foiling, super cute. Then this one has like confetti and some foiling. Happy birthday, very fun. And then this one has happy birthday and then happy is silver foiled. And then you have some confetti and then the candles. Super stinking cute. So I think these will be fun to make some quick cards with. Can't wait to use that one. That'll be fun. That would be cute uh, as the front of a mini album. You can put a sentiment down here. Very cute. At Walmart, I picked up, so I need a couple of pieces of magnet cover. So they didn't have the, the one size that I like, so I just picked that up because I need to make some more things to keep my dies on. I have this one. I think I've shown this. Let me pull it over here. This is a, um, like a stand. You can put the, you know, the, like flyer or something in there. So I, I had glued this piece of magnet on the front. And this is when I'm working on something, I keep these at hand so I don't have to keep digging in and out. And then this is one that I keep in a storage and I just have it clipped on so it's not glued on. But I wanna make a smaller version because I keep this over here by my cutting station. But I wanna get a smaller one of these to keep here if I'm, if I'm using my little sidekick so my dies don't get lost. So I went ahead and um, picked that up so I could make another smaller version of this put that back or I'm not going on the floor and lose the dies. Okay. So in my video with, um, the, the tablecloth, the iridescent one that I've got back here, 
this one's a lot thicker, the ones I'm about to show you. This one, see what size it is. So this is 54 by 84. This is 54 by 102. So it's a lot bigger. But someone had posted that they saw other colors. So when I went to Walmart yesterday, I went down the party section and I found two of them. So thank you to, to that person who um, told me about these other ones because the first time I went, they didn't have them. But look at this pretty blue. Isn't that pretty? So this is going to be a lot of fun to make some sentiments. Hopefully you guys remember. I don't know if I have that sitting right here. I think I moved it. I don't see it. I've got a big project sitting here, so excuse the mess. I don't know what I did with my, but I made the little sentiments with, you know, with the other one. I don't know what I, where I stuck it, but it's really, really cute. Check out that video. Um, so here's the blue one, and then they, they had this gold one, which is a really pale light gold. So won't that be fun to make some sentiments with that? Super cute. Now I'm wondering where in the world I put. Oh, I remember where I put them. Let me show you guys what I did in a second. I remember exactly where I put them. Then at Walmart, I went ahead and picked up. I saw this. I was on the um, um, business supplies aisle looking for something for work. And I spotted this neon card stock. How fun is this? Yes, I've got tons of card stock. But I just happened to see it, and I went ahead and got it. This is 100 sheets of 65 pound, so it's not the thickest, but for layering. And I just thought these fun colors for summer um, would be a lot of fun to use. So I went ahead and got these. And let me share with you. I don't think I've shown this video yet of what I started making. I may have. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. So in order to kind of jump ahead on certain projects, I went ahead and made this binder. It's called Sentiments and Phrases. And I had an extra binder. Um, so I like, because when it sits on the shelf, I can see which the binder is. So what I did is, I don't think I've done a video on, here's this little sample card. This is, for those that haven't seen my video, that is this iridescent tablecloth that is glued to cardstock. And then I use my um, dot word dies to cut it out. So this one is just plain, plain on black. This has been, you can see a little bit of a dimension on there. This is on white, and then pink, then blue, then like a tealy minty color. And then this is on black again. Super cute, isn't that gorgeous? So a lot of shine without a lot of the glittery mess. Super fun. So I've got that tucked in the pocket and I started putting together a binder. So when I have downtime or want to watch a movie, and sorry about the glare, I'll try to hold it, is I am creating sentiments so I can just grab and go. So these are sentiments using um, that iridescent tablecloth and on white cardstock. So I like this is the word bright. So I, I left this part so I can line it up nicely. And then I have other sentiments that are ready to go. Let's party. Hello, let me show. So these are just baseball cards. You know, this is the pocket pages. Hopefully you guys can see. So I've just got them tucked in there. It's the little things. And I've separated them with pink copy paper so that I can see them. So I can just reach down in the pocket and I've got a sentiment ready to go. I thought this might help me for doing some quick cards. So that's kind of my, my little quick, I haven't gotten that far. But here are some that I had made using the um, the tablecloth. Aren't they cool? So I can just tuck these in, and then if I have to make a card, I'll have some sentiments ready to go. So if I have some downtime, or I just wanna like sit and watch a movie and just make a bunch of sentiments, I could take whatever I need upstairs and you know sit with the family or Tim and watch a video. And I've just got it in here, and I separate, I had pink copy paper, so that's why I used pink just have what I used and I didn't want it to be super bulky that's why I used copy paper but I wanted to be able to see the sentiments so in between each layer this one's empty and then I've got extras back in there but this is the beginning of my sentiments binder I thought it'd be a great way to kind of build up a sentiments library so to speak and if I was making a card or sometimes I make a lot of cards just with florals and then I want to add a sentiment um you know Maybe it want to be a birthday card or sympathy card. 
So I thought this would be a great way to start, you know, just grab and go. So that's kind of my uh, sentiments and phrases like binder. So that is something that I've been working on. And I think that's about it. All right, guys, I'm going to get back to work. Um, there's a crazy storm headed our way here in North Carolina. It's been a crazy day today. But I hope you guys are all doing well. And I can't wait to get done with this project that I'm working on. Give you a little sneak peek. And it's a it's a project that's been well in the, making in a long time. So for those that have been around, around with me for a long time, there's a quick sneak peek of what I'm working on. And uh, yeah, it's about time I get it finished. It's been in a box. You know, we guys all have these projects that we've started years ago and never finished. Guilty, and that's it. I'll throw that away. So I'm gonna get back to work on this. I'm hoping to get it done and I'll hopefully make a project share video about this. And um, yeah, hopefully I don't get too many calls tonight because this weekend I was really busy um, with calls and working with clients. So I'm hoping it's a little quieter today with this crazy storm. All right, guys, I want to thank you all so much for stopping by and watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.